Hello, hi, it's me, Harmony, the Nutmeg Princess, and this is our inaugural episode of Chaotic History. This video has been sponsored by Only Lovebirds, Dating Site, and Matchmaking. This dating site is so totally different from any other dating site you've seen because it focuses on matching you with your holistic match and not just based on looks and appearances. So if you want to check it out, it will be in the description below as well as the link to the shirt and earrings that I'm wearing from Idol Minds Collective. So without further ado, let's get into it. So like I said, guys, welcome to Chaotic History, where I choose violence and have you saying the more you know. So we all know who Caesar is, master conqueror, dictator of the Roman Republic, blah, blah, blah. But this isn't the type of Caesar that we're going to be talking about. In this video, we're going to be talking about Big Pimpin' Caesar. So Caesar is in the Senate having this huge argument with this guy named Cato, who's his rival. And they're rivals because Cato believes that there's a conspiracy with Caesar and this guy named Catalina trying to overthrow the consuls Gaius and Marcus Cicero. And that's because those two guys won their seats and Catalina didn't win his seat. Basically, Catalina was bad man because he lost his seat to Gaius and Cicero. And also that Cicero was in his prime. He was a good public speaker. He was an amazing politician. So Catalina in his infinite badness decided, you know what, I'm just gonna kill Cicero and his cronies and burn Rome to the ground. The reason for this was so that debt would be erased, including Catalina's, and also that Catalina would basically get the seat that Gaius and Cicero had. But Cicero found out about the conspiracy, which led to Catalina being uh, ousted from Rome. But before he was ousted, actually, I should say that the other senators wanted to have a trial and hothead Cato was like, nah, let's just kill him. They actually did have the trial and they sentenced Catalina to death. However, he didn't actually die and so they were like you know what instead of messing with this man let's just exile him so that's what they did so the conspiracy led to this argument uh between cato and caesar later on right in the middle of this argument caesar gets a letter talk about bad timing but he gets a letter and he reads it secretly and puts it away but cato sees him doing this and so he demands to know what the letter was about so Caesar was like, nah, bro, you don't. Like, don't mind your business. But Cato wasn't having it. And so Caesar was like, you know what? Here. And so he balled up the letter and threw it at Cato, who picked it up and read it. Now Caesar's looking at Cato like, and Cato is visibly ashamed. He balls the paper back up and throws it at Caesar and says shut up you drunk see what Cato should have known was when you do clown shit the clown comes back to bite so now Caesar being the asshole that he is lets it be known to the entire senate that it was actually a love letter from Cato's sister saying how much she wanted him how much she was in love with him how much she wanted to sleep with him and I mean it wouldn't be the first time that a politician got caught with his hand in the cookie jar right so now Caesar's looking at Cato like, you could have just sat there and ate your food. And while this is happening, all hell is breaking loose around them as the other men start wondering if Caesar was giving their wives the Roman ramping. Hey guys, I know that this video is really short and I promise you that the others will be a lot longer. This was just, a, you know, like a tease at what is to come on Chaotic History. And I really hope that you liked the video. Remember to uh, check my description box for the link to Only Love Birds dating site and matchmaking. And also if you want to buy one of these t-shirts or these earrings for yourself or somebody that you love, um, that will also be down there as well, like I said. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. This is Harmony signing out.